Hello and welcome to my inaugural video on my as yet unnamed YouTube channel. Um, now, if you're here very early in this channel's life, you will notice that yes, it is temporarily named Test. No, there's no interesting story to that. I just have yet to think of a good name. Uh, my first instinct was Random Ramblings, uh, because that's kind of the theme uh, to a degree that I, I intend for my channel. Uh, but a cursory Google search uh, netted at very least a playlist called Random Ramblings, and I think there's a channel already called that. So I was thinking, you know, some other things, Blair's banal babbling, uh, meandering mumblings, uh, nothing has really stuck. I thought a really good one would be Techno Babble, uh, but yet again a Google search shows me that there is a YouTube gaming channel called Techno Babble. I didn't really check it out. You might want to. I don't know. It might be up your alley. Sadly, that is unavailable to me. Uh, so, uh, I'm asking for your help. Yeah, it's really early in our relationship, and I'm already asking for help. I guess that might make me needy. Uh, but feel free to hit up the comments uh, for these first few weeks. Uh, I'd say the course of the first couple of videos. Uh, if you think of something that would be a great name for my channel, feel free to post it in the comments and I will get a poll together and we will we'll do some voting and we'll get this channel named at which point I can you know maybe come up with some graphics uh, maybe a little uh, intro video uh, or pre-credits or whatever you want to call them uh, we'll we'll get things uh, squared away um, if you're joining us from the future and we uh, we have a channel name already and the poll is closed well greetings from the past you didn't join me today though to listen to me talk about maybe coming up with a channel name uh, theoretically you've joined me because you're interested in what I may or may not have to say on today's subject which is backups uh, I'm of course not talking about uh, reversing your car nor am I talking about an uninterruptible power supply on your equipment, though that is a good thing to have. I am instead talking about making sure that you have copies of your critical data. Now, you might also be wondering, why do I even care what this guy has to say about backups? Or about anything technology related? So I guess a little bit of history. I have been uh, working in IT to some degree uh, for about 20 years at this point. Um, early on, I, it was basically uh, the IT equivalent of a shade tree mechanic. And if something went wrong on my computer, I had to fix it myself. I could not afford to take it to the pros. And through the course of that, uh, many, many years, I became a pro myself. Uh, I now professionally work in the information technology field. I've worked at a couple of different K-12 organizations. I've done freelance consulting, uh, contracting. Uh, I've had my fingers in a lot of pies along the way from hardware to uh, scripting, network. I've played with a little bit of everything in technology. That's not to say I know it all there are books and books and books of things that not only do I know not know, I honestly don't understand myself. Uh, so, but backups, backups are something I do understand, um, and I'm pretty passionate about them. Uh, I kind of started way back in in my early playing with computers. I had uh, I decided to try Linux, and um, Boy, Linux users today with your, you know, G-parted and, and several different non-destructive partitioning tools, you don't know how good you have it. I attempted to resize a partition so that I could try uh, some earlier version of Red Hat alongside my Windows 98 install and lost everything. Uh, though that is not what made me so passionate about backups. I'd say one of the first situations that did so was early on in my 
uh, IT professional IT contracting career, and I had uh, some friends from church. They brought, they had a hard drive, uh, they had a computer. They, he said it just wouldn't boot one day. Uh, we've replaced the computer a couple of years ago, but could you see if you can get our our stuff off of it? I said, hey, sure, I, I would be happy to help. Uh, as yet, now this is a quote, as yet I have not had run across a unit that I've not been able to get things off of. Fair warning, there could be a first time for everything. And sadly, that was the first time I had to go to a customer and say, I'm sorry, this drive is completely inaccessible. Uh, I'm not going to say it's irrecoverable, but you are going to have to take it to a professional recovery uh, location, and those tend to charge uh, $1,200, $1,400 just to look at it to even tell you if they can get anything. Um, It was really heartbreaking to me to have somebody that I cared about as a friend who had half a decade, a decade worth of family photos that were just gone uh, in their estimation. And, um, well, Rob Missy, if you happen to ever watch this, that has stuck with me all of these years later. Um, I, I hope that you manage to recover those pictures. Uh, fast forward on, I have worked in the cellular industry as a wireless retail consultant. Uh, though I really, really did my level best to 100% help my customers. Uh, I have customers who, now that I'm back into information technology, they still growl at me that I left uh, the cellular industry because they enjoyed working with me so much. Uh, If any of you happen to watch that, shout out to you guys. You guys were great customers and you were the ones who made uh, it worthwhile to go into the office. But I've I lost count of the number of times that somebody came in and they had a device that either crashed or it was run over. I have seen them come in and they had been dropped into uh, wood chippers and run over with lawn mowers. And folks, you know, can you get anything back? I've got pictures of a beloved family pet that we lost. Uh, my my deceased inner relative relationship here. Um, my child's first birthday party and it always really really hurt my feelings uh, to have to tell them I'm I'm sorry it's gone um, recently in the news uh, ransomware it's complete it's on the rise hundreds of percent up and it, you're not safe at this point no matter what operating system you run uh, so you want a good backup um, and even accidental file deletion and that's where I'm going to start because though I'm passionate about backups uh, and I do have a backup by the way uh, we'll get to that here momentarily Uh, hang on where was I oh though I'm passionate about backups I was fortunate to not have had to use them Uh, Though I've had some situations in the past where I needed a backup and did not have one. In IT, we have a saying, uh, there are two kinds of people in the world. Uh, Those that have a good backup and those who have not lost anything yet. Uh, That's been kind of amended to those who have a good backup and know it will restore. Um, You can read story after story online in, in technological or technology forums where somebody had a backup but they never try to restore on it and come to find out that when they needed it a critical backup was corrupted so I'd like to get into my most recent story um, the reason I have my desktop pulled up here and it's what you've been staring at for the last uh, 10 minutes wow time flies um, that is to say I am a digital pack rat as you can see over here in my disk usage I have several terabytes of view of disk space on my uh, desktop and that this is uh, full of documents spanning the last two decades pictures uh, spanning the same recently obviously digital pictures from my uh, smartphones and whatnot digital cameras 
uh, previously uh, 35 millimeter prints that I would digitize via a scanner. Uh, no school like the old school, right? Um, raw video footage uh, from high definition camcorders. I've done a lot of videography work uh, and I have a tendency to not delete the original even after I have mastered the footage. I should probably go back and audit some of that. I could free up probably several hundred gigabytes if not a terabyte of space doing that. But my system disk here, yes I'm on a Windows system obviously so or it's lovingly referred to as the C drive. Uh, that is a solid state drive. If you don't have a solid state drive, it's one of my most highly recommended upgrades you can do. Uh, that used to be RAM, and RAM is now the second that I re recommend. That might be the subject for a different video. But you can see that it is still quite full, even though I have user profiles and whatnot offloaded onto other disks. Uh, one of the only user profiles, though, that previous to last week or a couple weeks ago still lived on my C drive was the public profile and uh, that was also where I had my music library that I've been amassing over the last two decades and that also has a few shared pictures uh, from family pictures just a bunch of random stuff it's about 18 or 19 gigabytes in size and I was looking at this this system disk that's getting fairly full and I said man I'd like to offload some of that so I decided to migrate it and I'm not gonna get into the geeky technical stuff but in the process I ended up with no music and all of the pictures that were in that folder gone I had a slight panic attack I, I tried an undelete because I forgot all about the fact that I have a handy dandy online backup um, I actually currently use Backblaze, which is of course not in the system tray right now, because why would it be? Um, Backblaze, oh look, and it is unlimited. I will post my referral link in the video description. If you sign up through my referral link, uh, and you're not a previous subscriber and you've never tried Backblaze, we'll both get a free month of service out of the deal. So I'm, I'm giving it away. Uh, actually, Backblaze is giving it away, but we can both profit from this. Um, and it's super simple. You go to your account, and it just has a directory tree type listing of all of your files that are backed up. I went, I found that public profile folder, and I selected the whole thing for restore. Now I have amazingly fast internet, um, and so a 20 gigabyte download, 18 gigabyte download in a zip file, that, that wasn't a huge deal for me. That might bring your home internet to its knees, I don't know. In my area, it wouldn't be a good thing. If you live in some place like that has Comcast fiber, or uh, charter fiber or if you're down in Chattanooga and you have EPB's fiber optic yeah it won't be a problem for you either uh, anyway so that's accidental deletion use case um, ransomware you get file versioning with an online backup so what that would mean is and that would probably be something you would actually have to reach out to a company like Backblaze. And there are others. There's Carbonite. There's Mosey. Um, I had a business recently, relatively recently, uh, who contacted me. Uh, they, they had disk corruption in their... Scratch that. They had a failed motherboard in a server. And... Um, Fortunately, it looked like their disks were in a software raid. It didn't turn out to be true. If you don't know about that, you can ask in the comments. I will try to explain it, or somebody else will explain it. Uh, luckily, that was not the case. I was able to grab the their critical business databases uh, as that those hard drives were on their last legs. Got them migrated to a new server, and... Um, 
then we were able to actually set them up with a true RAID 1 uh, and an online backup. Well, we ended up having to go with uh, crash plan with them. It was the second most cost effective online backup company. Uh, Backblaze does have a business program but it did not work at the time with Windows Server so we weren't able to go with Backblaze. Anyway, in that case we also set up a local backup uh, using Veeam Endpoint Protection, that's V-E-A-M. I will try to get links in the video description to all of these programs that I'm recommending and there are others. I'm not saying that this is the be-all, end-all. Hey, th these are my opinions. These are my mindless meandering mumblings or whatever we go with, right? Um, anyway, with Veeam, I was able to set them up also with a an external hard drive. Those are getting pretty inexpensive. Um, and Veeam backs up nightly to the external hard drive. Uh, if he would have a, a disk failure or something to that effect, I also put his other uh, workstation backing up over the network using Veeam to that external hard drive. Uh, any kind of localized failure we can use Veeam and restore from a, a bare metal machine right back to the same state. If he were to have a fire, a flood, theft, something like that, we replace the hardware and then the online backup comes into play. I definitely kind of recommend that mixed solution uh, so that you maybe don't have to download 20 gigs worth of stuff because you have a local backup. So, all right, I've covered that. I, I will say that just this last week, Google introduced their desktop backup for consumers. Um, not something, they don't intend that currently to be used with a G Suite account, uh, but you can use it with your regular personal Gmail account. Um, and actually, while we're talking about that, that's a good time to talk about device backup. Uh, going back to users who would come in and they've lost all of their photos. Um, sorry, yeah, I'm not a pro user for Visor. It's a really cool app I found today to mirror my phone uh, to my to my computer screen because I knew I was planning on doing this video. Okay, so anyway, with Google, as you may or may not know, you get 15 gigabytes of storage free uh, on your Google Drive. Now that your Gmail stores against that, although email does not take up a lot of storage, any documents that you create, any, any files you upload to your Google Drive, those would count against that storage space as well. And then you have Google Photos. Now with Google Photos, I recommend people use this. Number one, it comes pre-installed on your phone or on most of your Android phones. Sorry, I guess I should have specified Android phone. Um, you can install this on an iOS device and use it to back up your photos there. Uh, as you can see, I am signed in, though I believe I will be obfuscating this information, or at least some of it. Uh, and what you would do, now when you first install it, it will ask you if you want to back up your photos and videos. I have already opted into that. Uh, if, you, if you've installed it and you've opted out and you want to opt in now at this point, you would go to Settings. Backup and sync. It's going to tell you what account on the phone it is backing up to. And then you go in here. It's going to tell you how much of your storage is available. You can choose to back up folders outside of your camera roll. And then your upload size. Now this is important. Uh, you can see here I have chosen high quality. That gives me free unlimited storage. You do have the original 
you if you say you know my device takes these amazing videos and photos I want full size you can do that but that will count against your storage space so that 15 gigabytes of free or if you've paid now when they say it's a reduced file size I'd like to define that uh, think about here for a minute we've got these you know 16 and 20 megapixel cameras on our phones oh good my phone just went to sleep excuse me we they have 4 and 5k video now I, that results in ridiculous file sizes so what Google is offering is the ability to utilize that but they're not going to give you 5k video and 16 megapixel pictures uh, you can find information on what that downscaling is I do seem to recall that they reduced the videos to 1080 which uh, if you're playing along with a home game you might recognize that as still full HD video and I don't remember what they reduced the resolution of photos to but I do remember looking into it and you could easily print an 8 by 10 of the pictures that you've taken and it's still gonna look as good as it would have at 8 by 10 so going on through here though and again on iOS your your options are going to look the same though some other things will look different um, you can choose what you want backed up on cellular data I have said yes to photos and no to videos obviously videos are a lot bigger I don't need to be spending a lot of extra in uh, data overages so but my photos I'm like yeah I get those go ahead and upload those and a lot of times I'm wanting to share those anyway pretty quickly and so it's handy to have them on Google Photos where I can get a sharing link uh, back up on roaming if you have a phone plan that roams um, yeah so obviously anything that's not set to back up on data will then in this case videos you can do both it will back up when you connect to Wi-Fi so there's a Google photo backup and sync and um, back to iOS with uh, iOS's uh, oh I've just had a brain fart iCloud they iCloud backup is really point-and-click you have it set up in just a few clicks uh, but the deal with that is that they only give you five they being Apple only gives you five gigabytes of storage for free and your photos and videos will very quickly eat that up I have tended to recommend to a lot of people at work we are an Apple shop we uh, use Apple's computing products Apple's iPads uh, a lot of our a lot of our staff have um, iPhones and so I, what I've recommended a lot of them do is turn off the photo and video backup to their iCloud utilize Google's unlimited backup for that and then just back up the rest of their device to their iCloud and in that instance then if the device gets run over stolen uh, struck by lightning I don't know you fill in the blank there they would be able to restore the device from iCloud and then still have access to their photos through Google Photos and I've already switched away from it I don't know you may have um, noticed too that there was an option for uh, free up space on my device uh, what that does is any photo that's been backed up to Google uh, will be deleted from your internal storage very handy if you have say a 16 gigabyte iPhone or something to that effect now Dropbox why did I open Dropbox they also offer photo sync um, now I have tapped out all of the uh, free and referral bonuses and whatnot that one can get from Dropbox as you can see uh, and mostly what I use it for is photo backup now you may be saying Blair I don't get it you you're backing up to Google well I am once again a fan of not putting my eggs all in one basket so I have several different online accounts and I utilize most of their photo backups so here in 
camera uploads under my settings. Uh, I'm uploading photos and videos. I have that on Wi-Fi only. Now the reason for that is if the worst should happen, my photos at very least should have been backed up using Google Photos already. And you can see to only upload if the battery level is greater than 30. I believe we have settings. Yeah, you can change it to only while phone is charging. So if you're going to utilize more than one, you might set all but the primary backup medium you're using to only backup while it's charging and on Wi-Fi. That's up to you. Um, and here again, uh, I've also got Amazon Drive. Uh, they offer unlimited photo storage. If you are a Prime subscriber, uh, they they don't give you unlimited video backup though. And then Mega. Uh, Mega is cool. They uh, by virtue of the fact that their storage is encrypted, and they give you 50 gigabytes on a free account. I really like that. Um, now with them. All, everything you upload as well counts against that's not what I wanted to do settings um, counts against your storage so file upload I'm only backing up my photos uh, to mega I'm only backing up on Wi-Fi uh, your Microsoft OneDrive account if you have that would al also gives you photo backup in the app so well, I'm looking over at the timer and realize I have rambled on for nearly a half hour already. If you're still with me, thank you so much. I've enjoyed doing this. I um, I really like helping people, and I hope that this helps you. Um, very sincerely, if one person uses what I've shown them and is able to recover from a ransomware attack without having to pay a cyber terrorist to get their stuff unlocked, it's worthwhile. If one person were to comment later on and say, I am so glad you showed me this, uh, I turned this on on my phone, the next day I ran over it with the lawnmower and I had some of the last pictures with my deceased mom, Thank you, thank you. It would be worth it. That said, hey, you know, everybody everybody likes to be uh, appreciated. If you've really enjoyed this and you want to support my efforts in making more videos, you know, <laughs> just, just buy me a coffee, whatever. Uh, I accept Ethereum. I accept Bitcoin. We're online. Of course, why wouldn't I accept the currencies of the Internet? I will have uh, my wallet addresses down in the down in the video description. If you want to send me a little something, I will graciously accept. If not, I've enjoyed making this video, and if I help you again, let me know. That would be really that would be about the biggest appreciation and, and pat on the back I would ever want out of this. So, questions. There's the comment section. Uh, Video subject ideas. I have two or three ideas in mind. I keep my ear to the rail concerning technology news. Uh, and so a lot of this will be uh, will be dictated by uh, things I'm seeing in the news, the, the, such as ransomware and my own recent accidental file deletion really are kind of what spurred this on. So there's that. Um, so if you have video subject ideas, technology things that you think I might be able to help you or show you uh, that would make a video, uh, post those up in the comments. Uh, if you have a great idea for my show that is fairly kind, I realize we're on the internet, but I have to moderate these comments. Please don't make my workload any harder than it has to be. Uh, so, no, seriously though, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came here. Uh, if you join us next time, I'm planning on looking at password managers and you know, some password security pointers, tidbits. I don't know. What do I want to call it? Um, so I hope you join me next time. Have a wonderful day, morning, evening, night, holiday, weekend, whatever it is for you when you watch this. I hope it's great. We'll see you soon.